a lot of people always ask me why is it that some business are not really doing well and uh, why are others doing well you know there are so many reasons you know, why business are doing well and why others are not doing well today i'm going to talk about one particular one you know which is very important or which i would say is the starting point of of be doing business really of business really you know not just business um be it relationship or or life generally and that is purpose you know what is purpose what does purpose mean purpose is the reason behind what you do purpose answers the why question okay why why am i doing business or why do i want to go into business why am i going into relationship why am i living what is the essence of my existence that's purpose when you begin to ask yourself those questions you know you you are trying to put purpose or answer the purpose question so in anything that you're doing whether in life whether in business or in relationship there has to be a purpose any business that is not tied to a purpose or any relationship that is not tied to a purpose or if life is not based on a purpose there is no guarantee such business or relationship or life you know will produce fruits so that's why it's always good for you to have a purpose you know in whatever you are doing you have to establish it first in fact that is the, that's that's the starting point most businesses you know they 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 don't have purpose you know a clear cut purpose for doing what they are doing and that smells doom for any business you must have a purpose you must define your purpose no i will just give you three purpose you know that you can you can tie your business around or relationship or life you know around what are the three things are you doing this business because you want to make money or are you living because of money or are you going into this relationship because of money or are you doing business because you want to empower people or you want to be powerful are you doing business just because you you want to build relationship with people what is your purpose for doing what you're doing what is your purpose for doing that business what is your purpose for uh, for building for going into that relationship so what is your purpose for for living you must define it because if you don't have a purpose you will have no guide you know purpose is supposed to guide you purpose is supposed to guide and guide you when you're going off track you know purpose brings you back but if you don't have a purpose you you go to any direction so that is why it is good for you to have a purpose i have a purpose for doing my business the one that everybody you know easily see is that bruno's place is a convenient environment the more is a convenient environment you know is a place where you know there is constant electricity you know good parking space you know and uh, it's a one-stop shop you have so many things going on in the mall you know you there's a cinema there's supermarket there are fashion shops there are eateries there are gaming center you know there are lounges you know it's, it's a one-stop it's one-stop uh, shopping center you know is is convenient and that's one 
of the purpose of Bruno's place to provide a convenient environment for our customers. But which of our customers? The external customers. Mostly the external customers. But this is what people get to see. That when you come to Kedja City Mall, you come enter Bruno's place, it's very convenient. The AC is working, the place is neat, well, well organized. We may be busy, but we are very organized. The place is very neat, you know, and um, you know, the, 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 the atmosphere, you know, is conducive. Even the aroma, you know, is, is, is something that, you know, makes you feel comfortable with with the environment so that's what people get to see first when they enter bonus place but beyond that there is another purpose you know which is very key to us and that purpose is transformation you know we transform our internal customers our internal customers are our staff so Bruno's place is established for two purposes the first one is to transform staff and the second provide a convenient environment for our external customers so those are the two purposes that this is what guide us that's why when you come into Bruno's place we try as much as possible to make the place convenient for you because this is the promise you know that we have made to our customers and we strive to keep this promise then the second one is transformation which i'm really going to stress on today we train them not just only the skills you know we work on their mindsets we work on their attitude because skills has to do with personality you know but a staff who is skillful, who is creative, but lacks character and attitude, will find it very difficult to retain a customer. So we are in the business of transforming our staff. Now, Bruno Slays is... Um, is a business you know, that has changed the lives of so many people. We have so many um, uh, cleaners that we have converted. We have so many security guards that we've converted. We have people who are less privileged that we have trained, but today they are professional barbers, they are stylists, they are they are they are new technicians, and they are doing so well, and they are earning so well. And it gives us joy because this is the purpose you know for certain one of the major purpose for certain bonus place you know it is it, when we see our staff are happy we see them doing well you know it gives us it, it gives us makes us proud it makes us you know you know to be happy because we actually seeing our our purpose you know coming to fruition we're actually seeing in you know um, manifesting you know and that is the major reason why we're in business today I'm going to be telling I'm going to tell you a story about a young man his name is like Dogo you know when he first came to Bruno's place he was a cleaner in the mall then um, he came to Bruno's place, so he, he requested to to learn how to bar. But the challenge that he had was that how he was going to combine his his learning, you know, and with his work in the mall, you know, because working in the mall was kind of uh, tedious for him. It was really taking taking his time. But he knew there was no future in the cleaning for him. And besides, I later got to hear that he was actually living in Kaduna. Then just because of the wahala or the crisis in Kaduna, he came to Abuja for greener pasture. 
so so he picked the cleaning job now he knew there was no future in the cleaning job so he wanted to do something you know wanted to have a hand work and uh, when he approached us you know because this is one of the reason why we are we are doing Bruno's place you know we we took him in you know and uh, I made it very easy for him by employing him as a cleaner and paying him something higher than what the mom was paying him so he felt very relaxed felt very comfortable so he was doing cleaning and at the same time he was learning how to bath life was one kind of person was 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 the type of person that you, when you see him you will be wondering would this guy be able to catch up you know with it you know but because at first he wasn't really looking you know this the the kind of uh, the way he's looking now you know it was it was what i would say a local boy you know he he was he was not that touched and he was he was not the very smart the very smart type that could grab things just like this at the tip of the finger but it took a little it took a little time you know but i could hear one or two customers then you know you know saying that would this guy you know be able to you know blend with the kind of customers that come to bruno's place because they were looking at his size they were looking at his packaging you know and all that but i took it as a challenge you know because bruno's place is about transformation to call the long story short life today is a barber not just a barber life is a professional barber life is doing very well you know and 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 and, and it's any somewhere now he earns more than three times what he was earning as a cleaner you know and he's excited you know about you know the barbing job but there was one particular thing that happened you know and uh, I, I i i i i cried that very day because i was in the shop when about three security guys came with him you know and uh, they were asking for the owner of bruno's place you know and i said and i asked them if there was any problem that because and i and i saw life with them so i was i was wondering what could have happened and they said that they saw him sleeping in the mall that no staff is allowed to sleep in the premises you know i couldn't hold it you know you know i just busted out crying because life never told us that he had accommodation problem you know we see him he walks sometimes he stays very late in the night you know then he close then he goes home you know i felt he had a place that he was staying i didn't know he was staying in the mall so when i heard that you know i i, I was I, I, it hit me you know because I can't imagine, you know, somebody sleeping in one of the in the shops, you know, one of the uncompleted shops in the mall. You understand? And it wasn't that the place was very neat, you know. So what I did was to did is something very fast, you know, to cut the long story short. We got him an accommodation very fast. We got him a one room, you know, accommodation. We paid, you know but i watch life over time you know he became very serious became very excited about his job i saw a lot of changes changes about him you know just because he now you know have his own accommodation I saw increase in his commission. I saw his looks changing. 
and to call the long story short today life is one of our best barbers in Jabe Lake Mo, you know in Abuja and life has worked with us for over three years now you know and uh, life is now married he has a son and he's doing so well you know I was even shocked when he told me that he he got a shop where he says um, uh, salon products hair products beauty, beauty products you know and he actually established it for his wife you know I was really touched you know but his story you know when he gave me that story you know the bottom line is that one of the purpose of Bruno's list is transformation we have seen life you know being transformed from a cleaner to a barber and now a, a, a husband and a father you know that's what business is about you know that is what Bruno's Place is about. That's one of the reasons why we started Bruno's Place. To transform lives. To give our staff's life a meaning. Now life is living a meaningful life. What life needs to do now is to grow his income. You know, because he has a handwork. You know. And his salary is never fixed because it keeps increasing and increasing. So what we, need, what we are doing for him now is, you know, packaging him more. He's getting better in his packaging and we are teaching him how to market his, his trade, you know, how to let people know um, what he's doing, you know, teaching him how to use Facebook, uh, WhatsApp, you know, Instagram and all that. And meanwhile, life is not somebody that really went to a school, you know, a former school. But he's been educated in Bruno's place. That is what business is all about. What is the purpose for your business? You know, what is the reason behind what you do? If there is no purpose, you know, yeah, you will not have parameters. You will not have, you know, the factors, you know, that it can use to judge whether you are successful or not. I hope you have learned something today.